Hey, today I'm talking about the new Amazon Prime horror comedy, Totally Killer. This stars Kiernan Shipka, Olivia Holt. It also features Randall Park and Julie Bowen. And the basic premise is essentially back to the future, but they're trying to prevent some murders. And it's pretty good. I had a lot of fun with this movie. The story was really solid. The characters were interesting. The nostalgia stuff was fun. My favorite aspect of the movie, there were a number of jokes that were commentary on stuff from the 80s, just like how lax everything was. Basically just using a modern lens on the 80s. And I would say in general, the humor worked pretty Pretty well. I do have complaints and I'm going to talk about them, but they're all really minor complaints. So even though I'm going to say a number of things, they don't have a lot of weight, except for the first one, which is my biggest complaint. And that is the weakest part of this movie was the beginning and the end. They were edited kind of weird and there was a lot of ADR, especially in the beginning. And so my guess is that both of those segments got edited down to be a lot shorter because the rest of the movie's editing is good. It's normal, did a good job there, but there's just a lot of weird quick cuts things. There was a little bit of wooden acting. I really feel that like the 80s have just kind of been overdone. Ever since Stranger Things there was a big boom and I think we've been oversaturated. We need to stop with the 80s. I do also think that like for the minor characters needed a bit more development. In particular the best friend character that helps with the time travel stuff, especially the one from the past. She's only there to do time travel stuff and she doesn't really have anything else going on. So just a bit more with her would have been nice. The mystery was good. I definitely liked the mystery. History, but I feel like they spent a lot of time pointing the finger at one character in particular. It was never going to be them. And we just needed more pointing at other people that easily could be the killer and then like exploring those avenues. But again, all of these things are minor complaints. I enjoyed this film a good solid amount and I had a lot of fun with it and I would totally recommend it. If you want a good fun silly time travel slasher film, this is exactly that. You're in for a fun time. And now for my ranking, I put this at number 35 in the quite like section. And this is at a total of 59 new movies so far this year.